in this video about pull up and pull down resistors we're going to start with a circuit without either of those there's no pull up or pull down resistors here because this is going to be our demonstration circuit so on top here we have an NPN bipolar junction transistor it's a 2N3904 there's the transistor there in the symbol and it has a protective resistor and LED that it will turn on when we get a signal to the base by closing the switch as you can see there and the uh, demonstration of this circuit you'll see I drew a little finger there that's because if I touch this resistor my body is passing enough current through the uh, resistor there to actually trigger the transistor to turn it on. Now of course it's nowhere near as bright as if I press the switch but still there's enough current to turn it on. So that may be a problem. Now down here right here I did write uh, 2N3904 but for this circuit any NPN transistor should work. So this lower circuit is a 2N3906 a PNP type transistor and circuits the same except of course the uh, chemistry of the PNP transistor is the opposite of the NPN transistor so I have the transistor inserted in the board the same way flat side to the right emitter at bottom base in the middle collector on top same with the NPN it's the same circuit but now you'll see we have ground on top the 5 volt down here and uh, so positive rail down there on top ground so this resistor is actually connected to the negative rail and the switch is connected to the negative rail for ground but again it does the same thing we hit the switch the LED comes on but if I touch the resistor my body is passing enough energy to turn the transistor on so this is why we're going to need a pull up and a pull down resistor in these circuits because I want to set it up where me touching this resistor won't accidentally trigger it and you really don't need pull up and pull down resistors for most uh, transistor circuits but there's other amplifiers out there that are a lot more uh, sensitive or uh, sensors that are sensitive and so you'll want either a pull up or pull down resistor to help keep them from false triggering. So now to begin with we're going to look at the NPN transistor circuit and in this schematic diagram which I have on the bottom of the page now we have a pull down resistor and the reason why it's called a pull down resistor is because 5 volts is up here down here is 0 volts so we're going to pull this down to 0 volts through a resistor. So to demonstrate again I'm going to touch that uh, resistor there and now I'm going to take a 2 kilo ohm resistor I forgot to write the value in there 2 kilo ohm resistor right here I have a 10 kilo ohm resistor and uh, I'm just going to plug this in to uh, the base. Before I put this resistor there by the way this uh, the base of this transistor was what's called floating. The uh, Because the switch was open before I attached the other resistor the uh, base of the transistor was just coming to this other resistor but not to the power supply at all. So it was just kind of floating. It's just kind of accepting whatever energy uh, hits the resistor and of course my finger. So now I added the pull down resistor and the uh, base of the transistor needs to be more positive for it to conduct by about 0.6 volts and as you can see we were able to do that when I touched the resistor. I was actually giving it a alternating current but uh, because that's what's around me in the house alternating current my body's accepting that and passing it along so now I added the uh, pull down 
resistor. Now you see when I touch this resistor, now the LED does not light up. That's because the voltage is being held down. And now, before we move along, I'll show that uh, the LED lights just as bright as it did without that resistor. That's one of the things you look for with a pull up or pull down resistor. We didn't want to change the amount of current that uh, the uh, transistor would pass. We're using it as a switch. And so we wanted to make sure this resistor was low enough value that uh, we don't end the saturation of the switch. I'm not going to go into that too much, but what saturation means is we provide enough current to the base for the collector to emitter to just pass current freely. What's limiting it is this resistor and this LED. That's when it's saturated. And uh, normally saturation, you give yourself a safety zone, the resistor that you pick, and uh, so that even if you don't pass as much current as expected, you'll still be in saturation. I'm not going to go into that too much, but uh, with the 2 kilo ohm resistor, I was able to uh, probably match that. I'm only going by the brightness of the LED. It's the same as when I remove that uh, resistor. You can see the brightness didn't change. And so, with 2 kilo ohms, I met that criteria. I didn't change the saturation there, but uh, also I, as you can see when I touched the resistor the LED did not flicker so I had a low enough value resistor for it to effectively prevent the uh, false triggering for me touching the resistor. So now we're going to come to the PNP version of uh, this circuit. Again I'm using a 2N3906 for the NPN I was using the 2N3904. They're uh, basically the, tra the same transistor, the same properties, except for their polarities are different. They have the opposite chemical makeups. And so, that being said, now on this side of the transistor collector side, we have the ground. And of course, since we reverse the polarity of the power supply, everything else in the circuit's wired the same. By the way, with the PNP transistor, you can tell it's PNP by the arrow pointing in towards the base. Whereas the NPN transistor in the schematic symbol, you see the arrow pointing away. But uh, here you can see the uh, cathode of the LED. The uh, shorter lead is on uh, this side for that schematic with the NPN. Since the chemical makeup of the PNP is opposite, you'll notice the cathode is uh, towards the ground again but of course it's on the opposite side of the circuit. So you have to put the short lead of the LED on the opposite side of the circuit as this one, but uh, it's still going towards the same side of the power supply. The short lead, the cathode's going to negative, long lead, the anode to positive. Same with this one, except for this one, positive's up here, negative's down there. So we have the anode up on top and the cathode down there. So remember, to uh, switch the LED if you uh, wire a PNP circuit based on an NPN circuit. All semiconductors have to be flipped around. So, in any case, let's get back to the point of the video. Again, I'll demonstrate when I touch uh, the resistor there, the LED turns on. So now we're going to take, I'm just using a 2 kilo ohm resistor again. I found that works best for this circuit. It's not too high, not too low. I also tested a 1 kilo ohm, which was too low. The uh, transistor did not even turn on. And, uh, and then I tried a 4,700 ohm, 4.7 kilo ohm resistor, and uh, that was too high. Every once in a while when I touched the resistor, I'd get a little flicker. But in any case, now, with the uh, PNP transistor, we need a lower voltage at the base than the emitter for it to conduct. So now we want a pull up resistor. We want to keep it up to the supply voltage of 5 volts. Remember down here is 0 volts. So now we're going to connect uh, this to the positive rail. And you could already see the LED turned on because I was touching this side of the wire before that connected to the power supply. But uh, now it's off and you can see that it's off. And uh, when I touch this resistor, 
and of course when I push the switch again the LED is the same brightness as uh, it is without a pull-up resistor.